Hey, it's cool here. If you don't know, welcome back to Adventure of Link and Zelda Panoply of Kaltea. I know it's Kaltea because it says Kaltea at the top left corner. Time to go down! Alright, this goes back outside. Good to know. This is Impa. To defeat Militron, try a flanking maneuver by separating. Yes, yes, Impa, I heard you the first time. Now, whenever you see a flame on top of a door like that, it means it's going to be a very hot room. Thus, if we didn't have our um, flame mail on, this would be a particularly pro problemsome room. Yes, problemsome. That is your word for today, problemsome. Okay. Now, you can't jump over the lava pits. You really do have to... Oh, now you're... Now you're talking to me. I wait for, like, 15 minutes before recording another video. And now you decide to talk to me. Fine. Okay. What am I even doing? I need to have Zelda there in order to switch the thing. Oh, my head is completely in the clouds. There we go. Come on, Zelda. Oh boy. I think we should probably flip the switch. One time. Game? Hi, one moment, people. Okay, I think I'm in the clear now. But first, I'm gonna take care of is Burnapatra as much as possible. And they're kind of in the way right now. And we're gonna take and get into a place where I can actually destroy you. Thank you. Okay. So pretty much this is going to be resolved mostly with the boomerangs. I think. Okay, I might be able to do this with a beetle. Nope. Not quite. Well, maybe if I do it from here. Again. 
There we go. Um, definitely need the magic one for that. And this reveals a path that just goes right down the middle. Leading to a normal oval path room. Which I don't know why they would figure this is harder to deal with than a Burnapadra. But we get the Titan's Bracelet! Also get a few coins. Okay, so we're done with this room. And this room. So now with the Titan's Bracelet, To deal it with, if I can select the Titan's bracelet, be able to deal with these blocks. Whoa, well, that's problematic. I got the... really? No! Yeah, there is a bit of a bug with this, uh, with the spinner, unfortunately. Why does it do this? to do that. No! Wow, that was painful. Uh, okay, how about a little bit of warning next time? At least this time I'm ready. Actually, come to think of it, I wonder if this... no. It doesn't even reduce the damage at all, so that was a waste. Let's make sure I have the water meal equipped for that freaking room. Weapon is so broken. Oh, really? And apparently, these broken tiles go all the way in. Good. Great. Fantastic. Militron, you are so going to die. That should be the name of a movie, you know? Die Hard? Oh, no way. Anyway. Let's throw in a couple of heals. A couple of that. One more heal. Let's top up. And go down. Fortunately, we are already equipped with the, um... Water meal, so it's fine for us to be here. The water meal also affects Epona, so that she can safely travel inside the water. So imagine with all these uh, dirt clods here, there's probably something underneath at least one of them. No, 
Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip the switch hook. Actually, not, let's not put it there. Let's put it there. Now, this part is kind of tricky. Because despite the fact that we have the level 2 power bracelet, we can only pull this thing here out to here. Which, of course, is not nearly enough time for us to get there. Not even if we use the, um... Not even if we use a Pona, not even if we use, like, anything. Well, this is terrible. This isn't even worth any experience. That's the worst thing. Like, barely any. Oh, there's a current in this room. Fantastic. And we got rid of all the uh, like likes in this room, so. But yeah, we do need both characters to be out here, so. I forget how I did this. I think if I do use this switch hook, it might be enough. Let's try that. I'm gonna put a uh, switch block right there. And dig a little bit of path here. And what we're gonna do is pull this while we still while we're still holding this... There we go. Yeah, that worked. I kind of didn't think we had enough time to do that with the switch hook, but I guess we do. So yeah, with the current here, what we're going to want to do is... Um, put that movable block behind one of the, um, without screwing it up and having to do this whole thing over again. Holy... Okay. Do this right. Old arm, you can die. Like, die so hard, preferably permanently. No survivors. Okay. Now, hold the thing. Switch to um, the switch hook from the menu so that we have the time to move. Then move this to here.
put Link there. Put Samaria block here. And there we go. Now, here's the thing about Gorons, is that you can actually destroy them with the Bola. Which, to me, does have a bit of satisfaction to it. After causing so much problems in other Zelda games that you really can't do anything about, you can definitely do something about them in this game. We are up to the dungeon maze! Which means we're almost done with the uh, Tower of Selene. Apparently the monsters have decided to leave us alone. That's pretty great. Uh, up, right. Up. Which leads us to a side-scrolling area. With only a couple of rooms left to worry about. We're gonna deal with this guy. Gotta duck down with the shield. Unfortunately, now we have to do this again. But that's not much of a problem based on like compared to other things that we've had to do. Deal with fire keys here. Leaving some smoke on the water and the fire in the sky, because that's what they do. Again, there's a um, life doll there if we need it, which we do not presently need. And now we have a passage, so that we don't have to do this whole uh, second part over again. Well, time to deal with this guy. Sure, why not? Now, pretty much the deal with um, Militron here. Both characters are able to um, attack him. Zelda has to do so from short range, or else it won't work. See? From long range, the attacks do nothing. After getting him down to um, three, quarter of his, three quarters of his health, he starts shedding heads, a la Chaos from Donkey Kong Country 3. If you defeat one of these floating heads, he'll just generate another. Rest assured of that. Again at half health. Now having the fire mail and uh, the magic shield are definitely going to come in handy here. I'm 
now I gotta worry too much about my life situation here. This is the point in the game where you want the um, life dolls to do the work for you. This is Militron, after all. This is the one thing that is, um... that is threatening Kalatea. And once we defeat this guy, then there will be no more worry, will there? This isn't necessarily the, um, the definitive way of dealing with Militron, but it's definitely an effective one. And really, the way that this is going, I could try to make this a, a no, uh... Yeah! Alright, first try! No deaths on Militron! This guy took me, like, like five or six times before I was able to get him down uh, in my first playthrough. All right, let's get this done. Let's free the free King Harkinian and Queen Selene here. Yes! You have saved Kalatea in King Harkinian Hyrule. I, Queen Selene, thank you. Wait, what? You are a lad who destroyed Gen and, and broke my sleep curse on Ancient Zelda. Which, by the way, yes, Ancient Zelda and this Zelda that's with me are two different people. But lo, I am possess his spirit and you have fallen into my trap. Ho ho ho. Oh no, we're being attacked by Santa Claus and Link has been kidnapped. What is this chicanery? Oh, this seems familiar. Hmm. Yeah, no, screw this. I'm not dealing with this, uh, with this garbage anymore. Link is gone and Hyrule is under a siege! Go, Zelda! Back to the land of Hyrule! So just when you thought we were half- we were, um, done with this game, we are just halfway through it. Because now we have to go back to Hyrule and pretty much clear... Well, you'll see when we get there. But, as you can see for the time being, we are only Zelda. So we're going to have to, um first deal with the whole um, getting Link back. Hmm, is there anything here? Nope. Of course, anyone who um, has played A Link to the Past will recognize this song as being the one from the very beginning of the game. into those, maybe it's just because um, we're in uh, kind of half panic mode here. Sorry, I know nothing. You know how to be rude. Ski Mountain game. This hardly seems like the time for games. We need to go rescue Zelda. By rescue Zelda, I mean rescue Link. I mean, obviously. Zelda must rescue herself 
from the jaws of herself. Wait, what? How does that work? You know what? I have a bit of a premonition from being in this area. There isn't a pit here, is there? No. Anyway. So, I would think that the um, logical place to go look for uh, Link is exactly where Zelda 2 started, in North Palace. And some more music from A Link to the Past right here. Anyway, I am going to leave it off here for this video. It's probably going to be a bit of a shorter video, but we just spent like the better part of the last three videos in the same place. It is getting late and I would rather not have to record until like 3 or 4 a.m. and get all loopy and stuff. So next time on Let's Play The Legend or rather Adventure of Link and Zelda Panoply of Galatea, we're back in Hyrule and the roles have been reversed. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.